guys, this is Remy and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can make your own maxi dress. It's a very flowy maxi dress and it has this layer at the top to make it more flowy and I don't really know what to call this one. So this picture was sent to me by one of my subscribers and she wanted me to create it. So that's why I did this technique. I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button. So without any further ado. Let's get started. For this, I'm taking this rayon fabric of about 4 meters, but you can use other fabric as well. Then fold the fabric in half from its width so that the fold is one on one side and the two open flaps on the other. Then take your kurta or a t-shirt and fold it into half and place its folded side over the folded side of the fabric, like so. Then first trace the armhole. Here I'm placing my finger slightly forward to the sleeve stitching and flipping the sleeve away and marking the point. Now the same way I'll be tracing the entire armhole. Then trace the shoulder but just 1.5 inch of it. Now you can go for 2 inch as well. Then I'm simply marking neck depth point on the fabric where the kurta neck depth is. Here again you can take it according to yourself and then tracing the side seam as well. Now remove the kurta and join the shoulder point with the neck depth in a round shape. Then for the length I'm taking about 14 inch in here which includes seam allowance and then cutting this shape out. Now when you open it up, this is how it should look like. And then make one more of the same shape from the fabric. And then you should have two such pieces for front and back. And we are going to call these two pieces the inside piece, which goes under the flowy piece to avoid any confusion later on. Now take one of it and fold it into half and then fold the fabric again in half like so and place the folded inside piece over it and trace the neckline, armhole and shoulder. But for the side seam, extend the angle a little bit more to the outside like so. Then just create a bottom edge a little longer than the inside piece like so in a slightly curved line and cut it out. Now make one more piece like this and once done this is how they should look and now we're going to call these the outer piece that is the flowy piece okay. Now take one inside piece and then place the outer piece over it and since here I'm using plain fabric with no right or wrong sides but if you're going to use a fabric with such sides then place the outer piece right side over the wrong side of the inside piece and stitch them together from the neckline and armhole. Do it on both the front and back pieces. Then once done just flip the piece like this and then bring the shoulders out. And this is how your finished piece will look like. See here your neck and arm holes are completely finished. You don't have to do any hemming now. Now do the same to the back piece as well. And then keep the front and the back piece right sides together which means both of their outside pieces which is flowy one should be together facing each other and the inside piece should be visible to you. Then since we need to stitch just the inside pieces side seams, so we will tuck in the outside piece away like so and pin the side seam and shoulder and stitch over it. One stitch this is how it should look. Now flip it right side out and you will see that your inside piece is stitched close but the flowy outside piece is not. So stitch it side seam as well from the inside of it like so and also hem the bottom edge of the flowy outside piece. Now once done this is how it should look. Then simply tuck away the flowy part as we will be attaching the skirt portion to the inside piece. And start making pleats from the leftover fabric and pinning it to the inside piece like so starting from one side and ending on the same side covering the entire back and stitch over it. Once done, this is how it will look like. Now finally stitch close the opening of the skirt part and hem the bottom edge. And lastly, I added few pom-poms as well to the flowy part and you're done. So that was it for today's tutorial guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're on Instagram, make sure that you follow me on my Instagram page that is right over here. And this is how my feed looks like. But if you're not on Instagram, that's alright. You must be having your Facebook so you can follow me on my Facebook page that is right over here. So today's feature goes out to Rima and Anne. And I know I featured three of you guys but only these two did uh, use the hashtag notification squad so that's why I'll be featuring only two of them so yeah 
if you also want to get featured in my next year video all you have to do is subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and press that notification bell button and comment down below what you think of this dress and add hashtag notification squad and then only i'll be able to feature you guys because then only i'll be knowing that you have turned your notification bell button on and that too within the first hour of the video so yeah that is it guys i'll see you in my next video bye